Hello, statistics student. This video is for chapter 6.1, uh, standard normal. So we are in part two, where we are looking at to find the probability of a C score um, that is not one, two, or three standard deviation in between the mean, but any um, any number. So um, so we're interested in finding left area or x is or z is in this case x is z z is you know on the left side or right side but all these are less than a so a is here we want to find this area above would be we want to find if a is here positive then we want to find the right side because all these are greater than a and we also want to find in between two number right and outside of two number so these are the four uh, kind of area. It should cover all the uh, this A B uh, A B. It should cover all the um, you know probability that we like to find. So we say to do that, we use the online uh, set book. So uh, it would be if you go to yeah, if you go to uh, the online set book, you should have a online calculator like this. With Provided with the graph, so you can see that it is actually correct because if you just have the calculator, it's kind of imagine what you are looking after. So your mean is always zero and one for standard normal with Z, and then you click either your your area is above a number, below a number, in between or outside. So basically that's, and then once you uh, set up everything, then you just do recalculate. Um, so let's do an example. Find probability that Z is between negative 1.8 and 1.8 so i'm going to the process will be you draw a normal curve usually i provide it to you in your worksheet you find out where negative 1.8 is so it's close to 2 right this is z although we say x and this is 1.8 it's here but all these numbers are in between so you shade this first so this is just the x value but i want to find probability that means from here i draw the line at the boundary and I shade the area. Remember, probability means area. So I shaded the area and then I used the normal calculator, put mean equal to zero, standard deviation equal to one, and then these are the area in between two numbers, bound by two numbers. So I click in between and then find the number. So zero, one, I click in between, I want negative 1.8 and 1.8. If you switch them, does it work? I don't know. Like that. Okay, so the, the area would be here. Area probability is 0.9281. Um, let's find out if I switch that, what happened. I think it would give us a negative area. Or would it complain about it? Oh no, between 1.8 and negative 1.8. They don't, they cannot. So you have to have the low number on this side, right? 1.8 and what the high number on this side. So. And then you recalculate. So yeah, for 9281, I think the calculator, the TI a graphing calculator let you do op opposite, but this one doesn't. Okay, so just remember, low number, high number, otherwise you get zero, 9281. So uh, point 0.9281, and you should uh, use this notation. So Z is between negative 1.8, 1.8 like that. So that's the number sentence no notation. That's one example. So if you are randomly pick a Z that is normally distributed, you have 90 something percent is between 1.8 and negative 1.8. So example two, find a probability that Z is less than 0.44. So where is less than 0.44? So this is 0.4 is around here. Uh, all these numbers are less than 0.44, right? All this number. So what's the area? The area would be from here, but above this shaded area. Don't shade on this side. Okay, less than. These are less than number, and that is the probability. So probability is the area. So we use the online calculator, 0, 1, and then we say below, right? So this 0.44 is here. All these are below 0.44, and then you click below, you recalculate, and you will get it. So you would do below. And then you do 0.44. Now the area don't change, so you do recalculate 0.67. So 
So you say Z is less than 0.44, it's 0.67 or 67%. So there's 67% chance that you have a Z that is less than 0.44. What about Z is greater than 1.8? So you do 1.8 close to all these Z are greater than 1.8, so the area would be here. When you sketch the area, the area is the probability. So again, use the same online calculator to find area. You use the online normal calculator and you just say Z, you use above, right? So because all these Z are at 1.8 or above. So I do above, I change it to 1.8 and I click recalculate. So 0 0.0359. So you say, is it very low chance? Uh, point zero three five nine. If you want to, you can change it to percent, three point five nine percent. But you can also keep it as a uh, uh, decimal. Probability is less than negative one point two. Okay, so less than negative. Negative is on negative one point two is here, not on this side. Uh, negative one point two. But less than, so these are all the less than. So this would be the area that I'm looking for. So I would use below. You can tell that. Um, I would need to use below and negative 1.2. And then I recalculate. See, it match whatever that we grab, right? So this the, I, the reason why I like this is it match whatever that we grab. So 0 0.1151. And it is less than 0.1151. Um, and then uh, sometimes, so this is probability, sometimes we are asked to find percentile. So if I have a z-score, it must be higher than other z-score, but how, how, uh, is, how, how many percent is it higher than in terms of whole percent? So uh, find the percentile. So the percentiles are, if you are at k percentile, then k percent of data at, are at or less than this x value. I think it's not just less than R add or less than, but add is just zero, so doesn't make it much difference. So this corresponds to you have a left area of k percent. Okay, so what percentile is the z-score 2.2? So you would look want to find out how many percent is less than 2.2. So it's always below. When you find percentile, it's always below. Below 2.2. Is it 2.2? Yes. And then uh, we have 0, 1, comma 1 and just recalculate. So it's 98.61. So find, so if the probability is 0.9861. So I'll round up to 99 percentile. So 2.2 uh, is actually a 99 percentile. 98 is less than you. I wonder if it's 98 or 99, I don't know. Um, example 6, what percentile is the z-score negative 1.35? So negative 1.35 would be here. So there's some uh, data that are less than it, but what percentile is this? So that means you want to find this again below. What is it? Negative 1.34, 0 0.35. Okay. Then you recalculate. Uh, 0 0.0885. 0 0.0885, so that means 8.85% of data is below you, so it must be at the um, whole number, 9 percentile. I think we just stick with rounding to a whole number. Okay, So that's uh, how percentiles look like. Okay, so the next page is the reverse. If I know the z-score, if I know the area, either left area or right area, or most of the time percentile, what z-score would that be? So this is different from what we have been doing. What we have been doing using the normal calculator is always find the probability or area. So this, the result is a probability of area. Now we want to reverse. We would give you so I would know the probability, I know the percentile, and want to find what z is. So, but if you know, if you if you want to enter this, so it's it's almost like you want to enter this, and then you want this to show up. But they don't let this to 
to receive anything. So this is the answer. So we need another calculator called the inverse normal calculator. So if you uh, search, so this is, I have it already, inverse normal distribution calculator uh, under online stat book, you'll find this. So it looks exactly like what we have before, but it's a little different. So the one that is that shows the answer is here. So I would actually want them to box this. So you're not supposed to enter anything here. See, if you if you try to change them, you can. They are not for enter. They are to show answers. They show the Z value. But this is the where you specify your parameter. You specify your area. So the area could be the left tail, left tail or the right area. Um, <coughs> above, if it is right area. Below, if it's the left area. And if it's a between area symmetrical, you can do that. You can do the total area uh, in between, or you can do the total area at the two tail. Now, for the two tail, it's the total area. So, and they would they would give you the number here. For between and outside, they will give you two number. For above and below, they will give you one number. So again, use something called the inverse normal, inverse normal distribution. So go back to the notes. So let's do some example. Um, so this is the pr process. Basically, you specify your area, either left, right, below, and then you you click whether it is a right, left, below, and then you do recalculate, and it would show up. So first example, uh, 5C score that corresponds to the bottom 10% of all value. So you would, on your uh, bell curve, you say, I know the area, percent is area, right? My, Whenever you see percent, you know it's area. It's probability. It's not Z. Find Z. Find Z. So that means reverse. You should, in the old days, we'd find area having a Z. But now, this is the unknown. So we would use inverse normal. We write point one area, and we just need to know what is Z. So this would be what we want. And this is the area is point one. So we specify area is point one. We click below. Okay, so go to here, you say 0.1 because we want to know what area has a 10% is bottom 10%. So 0, 1, and it's below. You click on it, recalculate, negative 1.282. So that means this cutoff Z is negative 1.282. So you can write it as Z less than negative 1.282. The probability is 0.1. Okay, so to the top, what is the cutoff for top 20%? So there's a lot of Z available, 0, negative 1, negative 2. Which Z is the top 20%? So that means the area, 20% change it into uh, area is 0.2. So it means the right area is 0.2. So you use inverse normal. You have to find the cutoff. Anytime they say find Z, find cutoff, that means Z, right? Z value. So, uh, Point two, area is point two, <coughs> about. Uh, so point eight four two. This point eight four two is not a probability. It's the z. Point eight, point eight four two. So this one is point eight, and the cutoff is point eight. The area is twenty percent. So I'm going to stop here, and then in the next video, we we'll talk, we we'll talk, continue with finding the percentile, which is very similar to having an area, top percent, bottom percent, and then find C.